That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. And great crowds gathered about him, so that he got into a boat and sat down. The whole crowd stood on the beach, and he told them many things in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and immediately this immediately this sprung up, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched. And since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and produced grain. Some a hundredfold, some thirty, or some sixty, and some thirty. And he who has ears, let him hear. Okay, we, we call this a caveat. Caveat is a warning. It's uh, something like beware. The Lord is adding, you know, in verse 9, the last verse, He who has ears, let him hear. This morning I'd like you to give, I'd like us to give our double attention to this word that God is about to give us. Amen. God bless the reading of this word. Let's just commit ourselves to the Lord as we're gonna pray. Uh, let's ask him. You may be seated, Pastor Manding and Sister Mary. Praise be to the living God. Patience. A bit longer. I would like to expand what I have began or started last Sunday on soul winning. Because each each one of us, you and I, regardless of how young you have been yet in the Lord, or how long you've been serving God already, things never change. You and I are called to be vessels of honor for the Lord Almighty. Amen? Amen. And you know what? Very nice, very nice to be a vessel for God when God uses you to change people's lives, to change them. I mean, people who are far from God, suddenly an understanding could stand up close to Him, reach to Him, palmably. Why? Because you are there. But never forget, any time and every time God uses you to bring people into the kingdom of God, never, not any time. Not even a minute, not even a second, grab the glory. Always give, give the glory and honor to the Lord. And, and all, always remind yourself that you are an, an Andy serving slave servant. Everyone say Amen. amen. Now at this, at this, um, in this morning, at this point, I would like to present to us something, a kind of a characteristic that a soul win winner must have. It is patience. I know all of us are patient. All of us do. All of us do have patience. But God would like to remind us what kind of a patience He wants us to bring along every single day. I'm not. I'm not talking about generally of our patience to the world, our patience to uh, to other people or to people we get along. I would like to specifically say the kind of patience that we must endeavor. To people we are bringing unto God. The Bible is very specific that we gotta need to have the kind of patience similar or relative to a farmer. That's why the title of my sermon, The Patience of a Farmer. You see, brothers and sisters, when you bring a soul and much when you disciple him to the Lord, it takes patience and not just ordinary patience, real extra patience. You understanding me? If, if you try, you know, to evangelize a person who's hard-hearted, resistant, and you are praying for that person, and the Lord's giving you the assurance, just keep it up, my child. Because now perhaps he is seemingly resisting, but any time, one day, she will or he will. I experienced that to, him, to my mom. My mom was my worst uh, persecutor. 
After I got born again, I, I was slapped for several times. I was cursed by my mother. I was tried with all of his work, with all of her worst, to severe me from my faith. But I never gave up. My, I, by God's grace, I never gave up my faith in God. And I never gave up my mother. How can I give her up? She's my best. She's my own mom. Well, lucky to me, to God be the glory, it didn't take me a long time, months or years, for my mother to come and realize, you know, of her need of a savior. It just took like how many days after she persecuted me, she realized that she also, she also needed the Lord Jesus Christ. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it pays to be patient when you give such to someone or somebody, anyone, you're bringing to the Lord. Because patience, I tell you ladies and gentlemen, is part and parcel of our investment that we give to people. I tell you, when you want to bring souls to the kingdom of God, it's not just a random thing. When you feel like doing it, you will do it. When you don't, you don't feel like doing it, you may not do it. You know, uh, bringing the word of God to the lost is indeed an investment. It's something which you need to deliberately do. It's something that we, you need to in, in, intentionally do. It's something that you will have to give out from yourself. That's how the kind of perspective Jesus had when He came here. Are you still with me? And, and hear me, ladies and gentlemen, and I believe you know what I you know that what I'm saying. When it comes to bringing souls to the kingdom of God, and not just you know leading them into a sinner's prayer, but simply, but attempting to disciple them. Because I would like you to understand, ladies and gentlemen, this morning, it's not just enough to lead a person into sinner's prayer. There's a greater, there's yet a greater task that God is laying for you after you, uh, what is this? You, you let the person uh, send the sinner's prayer. It is discipleship. Are you, are you with me? Yeah. Discipleship is shaping the person from his, from his own life into the image and the likeness of Christ. Him being changed into the characteristic of Christ. And I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, when, it, when we engage as such, it, it takes real patience. And it's not just ordinary patience. I tell you, it takes extra patience. Amen? Yeah. Especially when the one whom you are discipling is uh, not so much responsive. So much as like even once sometimes to escape like you are active you want you want them you want them to follow the lord and give it full but they not they are passive you are drawing out from your pockets you are spending your time and i know many of us most of us are really very busy you know in our jobs in our family and our time is really valuable you're giving valuable time to them, but they don't value it. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, when that happens to us, we cannot just give them up. Because after all, God is not. God is not giving them up. No choice, you and me. When we are confronted by such kind of uh, passiveness, we are to be patient. I like us to say the word patient. Patient. The book of James in chapter 5 verse 7, the Lord says, Be patient then brothers and sisters, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop. Patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rains. The Lord at land here, what kind of patience that we ought to take inside our, inside our hearts. When we avail ourselves to be vessels for the living God, the Lord says, we have got to have the kind of patience like the farmers. Amen? Have you seen how the farmers are planting? Have you seen how the farmers are not giving up despite of the storms, despite of the toil every day, under the heat of the sun, under the rain, under the elements? Why? Because there's so much believing that after three and a half months, it's not somehow, but definitely they can have a good harvest. You know, when you invest something for the glory of God, it's not a somehow thing which you are saying after how many days. It's not a somehow. 
I tell you, it's a certain thing. It's always a definite thing. It's always an absolute thing. God doesn't play dice. God's not playing games. He's very much serious. Believe you me. Are you still there? Amen? Amen. Let's give the Lord a clap of praise. I'm very happy to see Sister Gina this morning. Very much. Sister Delia and I took us as much as on this two in the morning, sleeplessly talking about Sister Gina. Sister Marilyn, pa Pastor Mundi. Brother Nono, you remember, just passed away last Sunday. Yeah. So very unfortunate. But the blessed, blessed one. Uh, we thought of Sister Gina, how, how you see to her for two days after the internment or three days after the internment. Of course, we are a family. It's, it's, I tell you, when we come here as a church, our, our being, being members in Acts are not just up to only shaking hands and shall, shallowly, you know, uh, kissing and hugging and saying, okay, bye-bye, done. Things go back to normal. And then Sunday comes and we do, we do those same. Others are calling it form or ritual. No! If one thinks of such, he is mistaken. We are a family. Amen. We are developing relationship. If one is hurt, everyone is hurt. On the other hand, if one is blessed, everyone is blessed. Talaga na na bumuba ko sa kay Brother Nolit sa ka kay Ati Vicky ba ang boy at sa ka Tishay ng sa libing iba talaga pang may pagino ni kasubuhay mo. Beginning Sunday, being the pastor, I was just watching Sister Gina how she was responding. Natanggap na ni Sister Gina ni Sister Gina. Sabado pa buhay pa Sister Gina after calling Pastor Chris. Yam na lang kumigo, pastor. Uh, yak set tayo. No, 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 si no, 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 weeks ago. Kasi si Brother no, had to go no, 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 sa no, 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 we, do, we don't just, you know, simply believe, but we trust in the blessed hope that the Lord is talking about in the Bible. We don't lose some, someone who dies away who has Christ in his heart. He's with the Lord, amen? That's what's the state of Brother Nono again. That's how Sister Gina is feeling right now. So, Brother Nono, you know, you see my hermano, see Sister Gina, Brother Nono, my hermano, hermano, Sister Gina, but Brother Nono, Ulit yung Sister Gina, kay nagkatulid yun ha? Except on that moment, kay el chera ba, at prinsipya buta para dentro ay basta mahal mo yung tao, bumumog ka talaga. Basta importante sa'yo eh. Amen? Yun dapat na nilalagay eh. Kahit si Toto lang yan, o kahit sino lang man yan sa simbahan, importante yan. Mahal natin yan. Amen. Ilagay mo yan sa puso at isipan mo kasi value natin yan. Value yan ng Panginoon. Sabihan mo yung katabi mo, sabihan mo, mahalin mo ha? Kasi mahal ko din. <laughs> Palagpangan na natin si Lord. <laughs> My God, dear Sister Gina, kay Pankit lang yun din to this who you uh, Siguro siya kayo ngayon mag-faint si Sister Gina kasi palta sueño, palta hambre, todo yun ba? Our brother Nono, she she was the faint. Then sister G, sister DK and brother Noli. My my kailan na kanila? My kail skinny yun, lang skinny. My my kain na kain yan puhit kanila ay ayuda. Mas talagang sila yung na yung comfort. Thank God, brother Nono. Thank God, sister DK. The Lord saw it. The Lord saw it. Toto kailan mga mem mem members no beginning Sunday sa pagpaki na Iglesia. Ang Lucerne's prayer, hasta yan na bisitada, hasta na inchero. Maskin gani ara, the Lord will bless you back. The Lord will bless you back. Amen? Palapakan doon natin ang buhay ng Panginoon. And you know what? 
our job is not yet done. Kasi ang pamilya ni Atong, hindi lang kita, manada pa tayo pwera, bisisita man with kita kanila. And as we are winning those whom God determined to become part of the family, it takes patience. It takes patience as like of a farmer. Now, I like to ask you this one simple question. Do you love the parable of Jesus? Our passage is about Jesus' parable of the sower. There are these certain truths I would like to pick up. As I will explain to us on the kind of patience that we have got to we have got to give. By the way, do you love the uh, Jesus parable of the sower? Okay? Quanto beses you say le, quanto beses you say unclean ko del Señor. Siguro yung man preach quanto beses, but you know each time the word doesn't go stale. The word of God doesn't go dry. Every day it gets fresher. And each time the Lord speaks to me new things. Now let me share to us some of, some of these truths that the Lord enlightened me and He wants us to know this morning. First of all, God wanted us, first of all, to go where the fishers are. Would we like to bring souls to the kingdom of God? Would we like to see more and more people to come to church? Would we like to see our empty chairs to be filled? Uh, thanks, Tom. I like to hear all to say amen in faith for that. I'd like to say it back. Would we like, okay, you say, let's say amen at the last, okay? Would we like to bring more souls to the kingdom of God? Amen. Would we like to see other chairs empty to be filled? Amen. Would we like our church to ever grow more for the glory of God? Amen. Sabi ng Panginoon dito sa kanyang parabolo, sa kanyang istorya, the sower, kasi yung sower tayo ito eh. Una-una, ang sower dito, capital letter S, si Jesus. Pero it is also reflective or analogous to you and to me. Kung baga, sa Matthew, sabi ni Jesus, I am the capital letter L, light of the world. But on the following verses, you are the small letter L, light of the world. We follow Jesus. Por eso ganit, talam ako na itong Christian. Can you see here, we follow Christ. If Jesus is the if Jesus is the sower, we also are sowers. In our hands, they are not ordinary seeds invisibly. Every time we share our faith, every time we give our testimony, every time we encourage others, and much when those who don't have Christ in their lives, especially when we go, especially when we go to sinners, we actually are sowing seeds. Now point number one, truth number one, God would like us to understand. In, in order for us to be able to catch fishes, we have got to go ourselves really to where the fishes are. We cannot grow, we cannot bring more souls to the kingdom of God. Our empty chairs cannot be filled if we get to be just... It's not wrong. Do, do, not, do not get me mistaken. Don't be stupid. This is not wrong, but I tell you ladies and gentlemen, something is far beyond and something is... Something is more than this. I tell you, we cannot grow, our chairs cannot be, uh, cannot be filled with uh, newer souls, and we cannot see souls come to the kingdom of God if every day we just stand here in church. Every time we fellowship, every time we do activity, it's just all of us, every time. Hello, amen? Nothing wrong in spending for it. Nothing wrong in fellowshipping for. But what is wrong is if our minds limitedly are only confound in this. There is a time for everything. We gotta spend some times as well where we go and feel the waters themselves. Feel the warmer, feel the coldness of the water. And swim down under. Up close, see the fishes. Up close through your nets. Up close, throw your line. I don't know how you do it. So long as we go in gates, 
exactly to where the sinners and the lost and church and then reach are. Are you with me? Amen. It's one of my cries to the Lord. It's no exaggeration but my honest prayer to God. I said, Lord, before you will add another title in my name, I want to see Acts really overgrown. Before, before Lord, more blessings to come, I want to see, oh Lord, the simpler, the humbler, the nothing we are today. I want to see, Lord God, tens and hundreds come to you. And I know God will answer such prayer. Let me share to us. You know, even the death of Brother Nono, it, it wasn't, it wasn't a, uh, something just ordinary. That God used the life of our brother to even reach more souls. Beginning Sunday until Thursday, every night, Thursday afternoon, I had the chance to share the gospel of 100%, almost 100% brother, in attendance, families and relatives, our and church, our and believers. And between us, secretly, there were even critics listening. And you know what? Well, on the first and the second night, there were those who would think and try to make noises to distract me. Maybe they didn't like to hear what we preach because they, they dim us from another group and they don't belong to our group. Like, they somehow draw in a line, an invisible line, hey, don't cross over. Well, I just continue to smile. Why? Because it takes patience. Here in church, something, uh, I mean, we, uh, we believe in another, another form, you know? Uh, when I believe in the message of God in as much, please, let's, let's not distract ourselves or distract pastor, you know? Before we start, I to suggest, when you want to be, you be. Because the whole of the time in the worship, God would like us to receive so much, so best, over and beyond. And in the world, He doesn't want us those best this does so much those those all god is reserving for us to spill over that's why a hundred percent somebody lord pakmahalin natin siya all amen that's 100 percent amen all our time say all of our time all of our mind all of our hearts all of our strength all of our soul salabas iba kasi it's not church. So, paso, labas, kwento dito, kwento doon. You cannot yell on them. I don't yell in church, of course. You cannot, hey, call their attention. Ang sina ka primero at saka segunda noche, no? Si Sister Jean? Pobre mas Sister Jean na, si Ochi. Siguro they just wanted to console me. Smile lang sila, peer me kumigo, no? Kaya siguro intente tamin sila. Si, si Rondo na na, shh, hindi. But you know what? Justice happened Wednesday evening. Tuesday evening. And Thursday afternoon during the internment. All of those that seemed to be on the first, the second day wanted to distract and wanted to show that they're not listening with their 100 percent listening. Alam niyo mga kapatid, gusto ni Lord na talagang pupunta tayo sa tubig. Gusto ni Lord na talagang magmalapitan tayo ba? sa isda. Pag kasi tayo, isda kasi ang tawag sa mga tao na lalapit sa Panginoon. Amen. Sa so, wake on rain, nagagamitin natin mga kapatid sa paghuli ng mga isda para sa kingdom ni God. God doesn't want us to use missiles. Push buttons where we are remote. Gusto ni Lord, hindi po, hindi po nagbabago yung ano, forma. Gusto ni Lord, the old fashion. The lines, the nets. If, if God wants you to swim down under and catch the fish, bay and just all right. I mean, I'm not saying literally. I'm, I'm talking about the kind of passion, the kind of engagement He wants us on to. Are you still there? Amen? Yeah. Last Wednesday, I attended one of seminar. Uh, more than a month na pala tayo nag-pray nito, no? Pinipreach ko pa nga ito, eh. May isang group ko ngayon sa Sambuanga na burden na burden ako. And uh, honestly, I made sleepless all day. 
kasi I pray, I've been praying for them. Gusto ko talaga na ma-reach out sila. Magkaroon tayo ng connection ba na tayo ay magturo sa kanilang salita ng Panginoon? These are the PHW. No. Persons, no. PW, persons with AIDS. PWA. Dito kasi sa Zambuanga, dami ng mga infected. You, you don't realize this. Mga universities and I've seen them. I've seen them. Karamihan sa kanila, takot na maglabas kasi may stigma eh. Ang iba din sa kanila, marka bahala sa Bisaya ba? Ay, ay yun ang, kasi nandito na to sa akin. Hala, sige, para marami kami. So yun ang pini-prevent ngayon ng gobyerno. Kasi pag, for example, may, uh, may calls, isang aching, dami pong ma, uh, ma-contaminated, pwede man yan ma-take ng news eh. Gagaling tayo. Pero ganit, it's IV, it's IV rather, or AIDS, one contamination that contaminated, contamination will stay and to end in death. At saka, yung mga nai-infected, pag hindi ito sila malilid, because the kind of their lifestyle ba, it's wild, the easily can spread. So, merong proyekto ang gobyerno, kulang-kulang po sa pera, sa fund. Gusto nilang i-organize ito sila para ma-monitor. Now, there is just a newly formed uh, organization about to even uh, register in the SEC. Magkaroon sila ng juridical personality. They calling themselves Vida Vigo. I was invited last Wednesday uh, to a meeting and, and their spiritual advisor, they acknowledged me over their spiritual advisor, Ilan Taka. 22 of them. Tatanggap ang titi po no, ang gagwa po, may dalawang babae po, ang gaganda. Pero may mga tinatawag para sa ilalim. Ito yung tinatawag na fishes. Up close, you know? Hindi ka makakita ng isda pag dyan ka lang palagi sa room mo. Hindi ka maka, ano, dala ng soul sa Panginoon pag palagi mong who feel na feel ang presence ko sa Panginoon, Pastor. Okay ha. Pero kung palagi lang ganun, kailangan lalabas talaga tayo, aapak tayo sa tubig to. Amen? Amen. So yung hit the people, make long story short, I stood up and I offered up. Kasi yun ang prayer ko natin. Uh, once, a, once, once a month meeting, we gonna feed them. We're gonna provide them the place kasi ang gobyerno pula ng pera. Hindi naman, I promise them, hindi po bongga yung ipakain namin sa inyo. Pero it gonna be, it gonna be something coming from our heart. I already talked to Sister Vicky. Ang pupunta dito, hindi yung mga gwapo ha. Uh, hindi natin pupuntahin si Kuya Abs. <laughs> Dati siya ay, kayo tayong mga tatay. Oh. Sister Gina, no? Anda kita kay Kasi sila, kung ba yung Dahil sa kulang ng pag-ibig, nai-engage sila. Meron, ang tagka, ano po? Nakaka-gym. Pastor, good morning. <laughs> good afternoon. <laughs> so, sabi ng isa sa mga ano nila, uh, ngayon daw, next month, so this is something to rejoice for. Amen. 22 sila, more than 16 siguro Muslim. Pero alam mo, pag ang tao gani, malapit ang mamatay, hindi na yan mag-isip Muslim Kristiyano. Yeah. Kausap ko mga doktor, sabi ko, Dok, ganito ganyan, pastor, salamat talaga. Kasi you, you're showing your concern. I tell you, pag hindi tayo magsusyo ng concern sa kanila, sino pa? Amen? Amen. Nakita ko yun sa Macron, Macron boys. Yung after nun pala, gusto din yung magsibab, Pastor Mandi. Si Sister Mary, these are mga elder brother, elder sister nito. In the afternoon, we have 5 to 6.30. We move it earlier. Dahil sa gira. Pero mostly are attended by young people. Pero sabi yung steve, sa mga young people yato, young people doon. High school and college, college students. Ang kalahati, ang pinakamarami sa mga babae, taga-wimsu. Ang nagdala sa kanila, yung palit na babae, nagsunglid kanila. Kaya nga, do not meet judge a person. Amen. 
Not what it seems. Not, not, do not judge the book according to a cover, ha? Malit, ha? <laughs> Small but terrible. Then dito sa kabila, puro mga lalaki at mga makrumun boys. Ilang taon natin itong pinagpasinsyahan sa inyo, Cheng? Di ba? Ilang taon natin pinagpasinsyahan? It paid off. Si Ayan, yan. Ilang, ilang taon ka palagi punta kinakambal? <laughs> Palawap kanila, no? Pero si Katakambal, kaya hindi pa tiyem po God. Diba? Tang reject. Pero pasensya lang talaga si Ayan. Now, ngayon, it pays off. Yung pasensya natin, they will come. Nung lunes, yung naka-aircon man yung ano natin, yung confab room, pagpasok ko, ang init man, tsaka ma-smell ko talaga yung tunay, tunay nilang smell na tao. <laughs> Kali kasi sila sa basketball. Mga teenagers, ano po? <laughs> Dami nila, dami nila. Sister Bells, it pays to be cooking every Monday for these boys. For these boys and girls. Awa ko, Sister Delia, yung unang sinunggab yung, ano, yung pagluto-luto, ay na, tatlong araw po, inasma si Sister Delia. Ngayon, hindi na siya inaasma, naka-adjust na kasi kanyang katawan. Inahanap-hanap na ganun niya, na pwede pong makapag-serve. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it takes extra patience when you bring souls and when you disciple them to the Lord. But I tell you, investments of such cannot be was wasted. To God be the glory. Palagpakan natin si Lord. May isang pang Bible study. Yung mayari ng KBs noon, bumalik po, at uh, ano dito sa sibahan, then, you know, Sister Joy went back to U.S., Pagkabahanti sa STI, may kantin sila doon sa itaas. Anim yun ang pitong katao. Kawawa naman kasi puro kang mga tsibakano. Kawar, simple ka kalbida. Then lumayan sila. Si Conversal to Tagalog, intindi po ko. Kumigo tamin, no pwede tamin yung Tagalog. Hmm. English, wala rin present. Hindi intindi ko tingin. So alam yun, misisita ka na Sabado na ika 5 piso. Tanda yun, 5 peso. Pastor, hindi si 5 peso kasi yung 5 peso ang sina. Piso gali si Ne, no? Piso. Hard tagad siya ba nga ng Brother Jim, Sister Jim? Kira yung repen, saka kira yung liba ko nung te. Pero 5 peso, 3 peso lang si Ne, Jim. Umenta pa dos. Ang sina, kwano? LSPI? Sina? Mula March. Bago study tayo. Wala na Sister Joy doon na sa US. Yun ang membro talaga natin. Pero sabi ng Panginoon sa akin, wala na si Sister Joy, puntahan mo pa din sila. Pinupuntahan ko, they love it, they love the Bible. Ang sina nalas yun, no? mga baho hente, mga pobre hente, akil mga nuway, nuway ba na mundo, si ama to kanila, ama tamin si sila kung piko mas. Amen. Loyal to kanila, kaya tamin si sila loyal ganyan kung piko mas. <coughs> Hindi na si sila birakara kung piko. Make long story short, next Sunday kasi, last Sunday of the month. So meron tayo little something, little preparation, ano po? In-invite ko sila, excited na akong maging August 30. Sabagat itong katao, dinidisciple ko sa STI, pupunta sila, sasali sila. Ang ganda, ano po? I cannot wait for September 22, Vida Vivo. Pero hindi natin sila masali sa general worship pa kasi iba sila. So, every Saturday, uh, maybe third or fourth Saturday yung napakusapan namin dito sa isa loob, ang mga minister sina Kuya Noli, sina Ati Vicky, Ams, Ati Sayong muna kayo, Ati Saya. Kami rin, ano, ni Sister Delia, kami mga may edad-edad, pa-feel namin sa kanila na sila po yung accepted, sila po yung love. Kasi nung unang nakita kami doon sa, ano, sa, Yung test, nung nag-seminar ako, kaya mas si Elie, wako. <laughs> Espantaw sila kay, ay, speaker ka na si Diyan ako. Pastor, ha, sorry. <laughs> Mga Ikso, hindi kita magpili kasi mo doon sa ginawa. Amen. Yeah. Kinaan lang mo, apply lang tao, wisdom. So, palagpakan doon ang tanggino. You know what? We have got to expect, expect different kinds of people or different individuals when we go. Diba ang sower? Sabi mo, I am a sower. I am a sower. Pinili ba ng sower kung saan siya magtanim? Ha? Hindi. He just scattered in parsley the seeds in his, in his plot. Now, there were those that fell, ano yun? On the wayside. Wasted ang seed na nagfall ng wayside, diba? 
Kasi yung mga, mga ano, yung mga birds. Ang iba po, fell on the stony grounds. Hindi po tumubo yun. Ng, tumubo nga, pero hindi na survive At saka others fell on the thorny grounds. Tumubo nga, pero hindi na bunga. But thankfully, there are those that fell on the fertile ground. Ganun yun eh. Huwag kang madidiscourage pag mayroon kang nasheran, tinalikuran ka, may sineran ka, ano, yung dinidestroy ka pa, may sineran ka, pero hindi talaga, hindi tumalab. Huwag kang, huwag kang mabahala at saka huwag kang diba, pasensya lang. Why? Because there will, there will really be people na who are fertile ground that will increase even 30-fold, 60-fold, and 100-fold. The Bible said so. Now, I'd like us to understand, when we go out to share the gospel, given na who yun, we are to expect different individuals. Are you still there? Amen? And another, you know what? When you are engaged to these people, never hate them. Let's say the word, never hate them. Never hate them. Rather passionately show the love of God to them. Huwag talagang i-hate sila. Passionately show to them the love of God. Si Pablo, no? Bata-bata pa kasi si Pablo, no? Talagang na-hate siya kay John Mark. Sinabihan niya ng uncle ni John Mark, si, ano, si sa Book of Acts, si Barnabas, huwag nang tindalhin yung pamangkin mo. Ang titigas na yung ulo. Alam mo, noong unang beses tayo, tinalikuran tayo yan, hindi ang karapat dapat si John Mark. Nag-away talaga yung matanda at saka si, si, ano, si, si Paul. Kasi si Barnabas was older than him. Pero si Paul, ah, hindi pala, si Barnabas, gusto talaga niya i-disciple si Mark. Kaya nga, sabi ng Bible, the two heroes separated ways. Best of friends, si Paul at saka si Barnabas. Then later on, tumanda na ho si, si Pablo. Sa Book of Titus, talagang sumulat siya. Sabi niya, please, pupuntahin mo si John Mark. Please tell John Mark to join me because he is beneficial for the gospel. The same John Mark who used to be hard-headed was the same John Mark who wrote the second gospel of the New Testament. Same Mark. Apostle Mark. I tell you ladies and gentlemen, you cannot tell what is ahead. You cannot judge. Amen? Hello, are you still there? Amen. Ayun. Pangalawa po, you cannot tell who amongst those that are indeed ready to richly grow the Word of God. Kaya nga, yung sinabi ko, so ng so lang ng seeds. And, here we go. We often hear, we often hear to mistakenly adjust the work, uh, the work of God. Gaya sa 1 Samuel 16 verse 7, <laughs> si Samuel, sabi niya, but the Lord said to Samuel, look not on his appearance, or at the height of his stature, for I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not man sees, but man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord lo looks. Now there are these two lines I would like to teach you this morning. And if you can memorize this, man sees, God looks. Can you, can you do it? One, two, three. One, two, three. Man sees, God looks. Sabi ng Panginoon, ang tao tumitingin sa panglabas. Pero ang Diyos looks, ibig sabihin, He searches out what is inside. Una nakita kasi ni Samuel, sabi niya, ito si Abinadab matangkad. Ito si Abinadab at ipuno, parang disiplinado to siya na. Eh wala pala sa kanila. Ang pinili ng Panginoon andun sa labas, batang-bata, 17 years old, that David, he was anointed with, with the oil. Kaya, ladies and gentlemen, pag sino ka nang ipapadala sa simbahan, I tell you, let us love them. Sino yung madala natin sa Panginoon? Mahalin talaga natin. Pastor, baho magugilog, ayaw ka. Pastor, baho magugilipon, ayaw ka. Tagaan ng ipon si Gino, pilagad lao. Pastor, bayod magod, ayaw ka. Kaya usto na si Gino, pilagabog pastor, ibawaan na ko dating bayod kanyang to. I would like to lead us to the third. The right people will never stop to follow the Lord. Yeah. Do not be discouraged when there are those who will turn their backs. Ang, ang ratio nga is three-third, ah, three-fourth three three-fourth of those 
who were sown the seeds gave, gave up. Only the one fourth. Thank God. Sabihan mo yung katabi mo. Sabihan mo, thank God. I'm, I'm, one, I'm one of the one fourth. Sabihan mo yung katabi mo. Palakpakan natin si God. <laughs> now, here's another caveat. There will be others who won't continue for many reasons. But there will still, there will still be those who will love the Lord sincerely. It will be them whom we must give our lives unto. Everybody says amen. Amen. Sasakit na yung puso natin, iyak na tayo kasi may iba, hindi makakontinue. Wala tayong ibang magawa kundi pagpipray ng sila. Pero meron talagang magkukontinue. Yun ang ibibigay natin. It's them that we are to give our lives to God. Now I would like to close my sermon. I would just like to read Matthew 9 verses 36 and 38. The Lord says, Seeing the people, he felt compassion for them because they were distressed and dispirited like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Therefore, beseech the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest. Let's be willing people to say, Lord, I am praying for myself. Send me to be your laborers for the harvest. For many at the harvest, you are the neighbors. Tsaka pag magpagami tayo ng Panginoon, kailangan talaga ng pasensya, ha? Amen. Wala nung init, pasensya yun. At kung sa this is to G, dire-direcho yun. I tell you, talaga sa Stendalia is my witness. Cover and service at E, kung may lang buko, direcho niya na imedia, direkura niya, kawal niya, bolberaki, Ay, ano pa kanil yung kanil si Gina, bote, alas 4, pata si Stendelia, alas 4, mas iba ito yung bote? Si, kay Juan, yan pa sa pinakanta si Gina, na St. Peter already, I ate, natulog lang ako ng 15 minutes, ligo ako kagad, then I took a bath, then I take my, my bath, then came here, preach again for the evening service. Dinala ng flowers, uwi sa bahay. Hindi nga ako po, pumunta kami doon kay Sister Gina kasi nag-preach ako sa ano, ni Brother Nono pero hindi ko ako nungunan ng lakas ng Sister Gina kasi na ganun si Chene Amor, si Ab Tama kita ko dahil trabaho sige na sige lang, amen? amen. Ayun, pag-uwi ko, pag-uwi ko, kinabukasan kagising ako, malapit na last days ng umaga kasi the spirit is willing but the flesh God, it will sometimes give in kaya na mga kapatid, I tell you Basta sa Panginoon, kailangan ka lang ng pasensya. Tsaka huwag kang mabahala, si Lord will repay you. You cannot all give God. Receive the word. Yes. Receive it this morning. Palapakan na natin si Lord. It's all right. Tayo po ito mayo. Amen.